creator firm, right. among other things, to determine whether there were any potential affordable housing. Okay. Now, I'm, again, I'm not, I'm, I'm giving you what my recollection of the terms of that engagement. And they did that. And they okay. provided us with a report. And we have reviewed that report. And we reviewed that report in conjunction with not only the ordinances, but some other documents. And that is what I want to speak to the supervisors about, to, to answer your question. Thank you. At no time did this township ever classify that as a criminal investigation. That's not our language. That may be somebody else's. That's not our language. And if you're acting as chairman of the committee, the Water Resource Committee, my husband was on that committee, yes. and knew nothing about task two, I asked you personally if there was a task two, and you told me no. no so I'm asking, there, you did. There is nothing. I'm asking who started the task two. That's my question. I'm still looking for an answer. Kate, when we're in executive session, I'll ask Katie to get me the original Yeager engagement letter. And then I will read you what I'm referring to. Okay. There is nothing classified as task one. There is nothing classified as task two. Then where are there, there are two, in task two? There are two discrete tasks I think you could suggest in, okay. these, in the single sentence which generally describes the engagement with the Yeager firm. I think what's been colloquially called task two is the second aspect of that engagement. So and if we'll, and we'll get that letter out. That that is not a criminal investigation. I'm not saying anything. We didn't say it was a criminal investigation, so we're not saying it is. Sure, you, I, don't you I will read case. you what it says, and that will be the end of that. And then I'll leave it to you and anyone else to interpret that however. I know how we interpret it, and, that, and how we're perceived. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's what, that's what I'm saying. So to be fair, just so I understand, it's currently under litigation? It's currently, uh, we're calling it pending. So we can't release it right now. Right. What's our board is response? We get a response. If, if and when something is filed or, or some action is taken, then yes, it, it can be. And even then, I don't know whether we can release it or not. Because again, board. it's an attorney-client document. You know, it's not something that is necessarily meant for public consumption. It's advice we're receiving. It's advice the board is receiving from its legal counsel. True, but technically, it was pending. People paid for this through their tax dollars, so that oh, would be God, you can't. No, I'm just asking. I, yeah, sure. technically, you paid for that truck that just pulled out too. Yeah. You can't use that either. You know what I mean? The documents are a little so, bit different. No, anyway, the other I, thing actually, is, I actually contacted the district attorney's office. Once this board was threatened, that well, I tell the district right. attorney this. Once this board is threatened with a, a lawsuit, personally, besides the township, we're told not to talk about anything. So I'm amazed that. He even went this far. But that's why I would have said Sure. No, absolutely. Mr. Chairman, may I just for a second? And I accept I accept that the supervisors, personally, I accept the supervisors can engage counsel and, and it's confidential and I accept that. I think what I'm hearing, and I, and I hope what I'm hearing, Counselor, is the recommendation did not come from the Water Resources Committee. It was something that supervisors engage counsel to evaluate their position. That is between the supervisors and their hired attorneys. And it's not a good community business, in my opinion, certainly not mine. But it did not come from the committee. So when we started this thing, came from Mr. Rosen. So when we started this thing to update our water extraction report, we decided because everyone has the conspiracy theory out there, they were trying to do something underhanded. We got different people, especially that were not in favor of what to be on the committee. Mr. Rosen happened to be one of them. Very, very outspoken about it. No, no secret. Um, so we felt we put him, you know, on the committee. The committee chose to make him the chairman. They're allowed to do anything they want, you know, and then come back and make recommendations to the board. With that, one of their recommendations was that we get in a water extraction lawyer, for lack of better terms, and we felt that instead of the township doing that. We said, oh, do you have any recommendations? Mr. Rosen handpicked the attorney that we got to research and find what he did this, to get this attorney for us. We decided that the township needed a hydrologist. Where else would then go to an expert? Mr. Rosen handpicked what hydrologist we should use for this stuff. So 
and then here we are today. And then, you know, why don't we do this? And why don't we do that? God, I don't know if there's a better formula that we can. I'm, I'm not questioning that at all. Okay. See, my whole thing was, A, I understand your position if something's under litigation. You cannot release that. My, I had just thought that this gentleman was hired a long time ago, and he did issue a report, but it wasn't right. being released. So I understand your position that you cannot release a boss under litigation. Right. And my only I question, just didn't know. And that, my that, only question to you is, though, where did you get your information? What? Was that I, I attended a couple of meetings, and I remember that this was passed a long time ago. <coughs> that were passed, but that you know they hired the Yeager thing. So I wanted to know, as a citizen, of you know what the outcome of that was. Right. I just feel that some things are being put out there via the, the internet or however it's going out there that uh, make things a little bit misleading, make things a little bit of truth, but just to stir up the water, just to get people. Get, oh, I, I, I disagree with that. It's, it's, I think just the American people in general are skeptical and they want transparency. So, me, I'm not speaking for right. anybody else in this room because there are a lot of people that I don't know in this room. Right. 